Okay, it's 930. Uh, committee on, on audit will come to order. Madam Kirk, roll call, please. Each member is acknowledging that they are attending the meeting via Zoom and that they are located in Wayne County, Michigan, unless otherwise stated when I call your name. Commissioner Colleen. Commissioner Dobb. Here. Commissioner Clark Holman. Here. Commissioner Knizek. Here. Chair Basham. Here. You have a quorum present. Next item. B, Chair's remarks. Uh, I have none. C, approval of the October 13, 2021 meeting minutes. Can I get a motion? Over approval. Support? Support. Been moved and supported. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Yeah. All those opposed? Ayes have it. Next item. D, unfinished business. There is none listed. Okay. Next item. Is my screen back up? I'm not sure what happened. Yes. Yeah. Item one, and a new business. Communication from myself, Cora, Wayne County Legislative Auditor General. Forwarding the final copy of the Office of Legislative Auditor General's Performance Auto Report on the Wayne County Department of Public Services, Parks Division, Parks Millage Distribution Process. Well, I'd like to welcome our Auditor General, Ms. Cora, her staff, her guests, and even uh, Andrew Kendrivas. Thank you. RC Cora, Auditor General, if staff could introduce themselves to the audit team. In the meantime, I'll be sharing the presentation. Uh, Will Hamner, Audit Manager. The rest of the audit team and introduce themselves, please. John Kellett, Supervisory Auditor. Erica Jones, Senior Auditor. And we also have representatives from the Department of Public Services, if they can introduce themselves. Dr. Shawnee DeBerry, DPS Administration Director. Alicia Bradford, DPS Parks Division Director. Suzanne Abuzini, DPS Finance. Thank you, sir. What you have before you today, this is our Wayne County Parks Division, Parks Millage Distribution Process of Performance Audit. And I'm gonna turn this over to Will Hamner and his team and they'll go through the presentation. Okay, and, and welcome everybody. Go ahead, Will. Okay, good morning. Um, as Marcy indicated, we conducted a performance audit of the uh, Parks Division's Park Millage Distribution Process. Uh, for this engagement, we had two objectives. Uh, one was to assess compliance to rules, regulations, state laws, county ordinances, and ballot language for the allocation and distribution of park millage funds. And the second objective was to assess the timely allocation and distribution of park millage funds to the local communities for their approved capital improvement projects. Uh, for the, this engagement, our scope period covered fiscal years 2018 and 2019. Uh, again, we met with uh, county uh, park division representatives, conducted interviews, uh, observations, examination of documents, and also analytical procedures. Uh, the background on the park millage. Uh, in 1996, the county residents passed a ballot proposal uh, to levy a new park millage to fund park operations and major, major improvements within the Wayne County Park System. Uh, as a result of the uh, implementation, as a result, the Wayne County Park Millage implementing ordinance uh, to provide rules and regulations for the allocation of park millage funds to local communities. Uh, per the ballot proposal, the park millage funds were to generate uh, from annual property tax payments received each year at approximately $24.59 per each $100,000 of property tax value. As far as the allocation of the park millage funds uh, per the ordinance, each awarded community is to only receive the greater of 15% or $50,000. Over the years, the park millage tax collections have averaged approximately over $9 million per year uh, for the fiscal years that we looked at 2016 through 2020. 
for our scope period, which were the years of 18 and 19, there was approximately 19, a little over 19, I'm sorry, a little over $18 million in tax collections. Per the uh, capital projects report, uh, we found um, the parks division reimbursed approximately $4 million of park revenue millage revenues to the local communities for their improvements to their uh, community owned parks. In addition, uh, we noted the county expended a total of 2.5 million for park improvements throughout Wayne County. And as we all know, some of those were to uh, Heinz Park and Arbor Bike Trail and the Naked Mills renovations. One thing we would we wanted to point out uh, for this engagement is that in accordance with the ordinance, section 138.6, any un, as related to undistributed funds, funds that are not distributed uh, in the fiscal year shall be carried over to the next fiscal year. Allocation for that commission, commission's district only if required by IAG or by agreement between the parks division and the commissioner of that district. Uh, the park millage was recently renewed in 2020 at that same recurring rate. And for the years of 21 through 25, it's expected to collect approximately 10.9 million annually. Okay, John Kellett will uh, continue on with the presentation and the summary of issues for this engagement. Okay, John Kellett, Supervisory Auditor. Um, going into the summary of issues for this engagement, uh, based on the results of our review, we had identified four issues and then 12 corresponding recommendations to strengthen the Parks Division's internal control environment over the Parks Millage allocation and distribution process. All four of these issues are considered control deficiencies and are therefore classified as being of lower risk. And we discussed the four issues and 12 recommendations with Parks Division management. And management has agreed with all four of the issues and recommendations presented within this audit report. <clears throat> Going into the engagement results, uh, under objective one, um, we noted an area of concern uh, that deals with monitoring and review of reimbursement requests. This can be found starting on page uh, seven of the report. Here, we performed a review of the parks project reimbursement process during the fiscal years 2018 and 2019. And this was ordered in order to determine if the parks division established adequate internal controls over the community reimbursement process. And here we had obtained and we also reviewed eight reimbursements that were paid to the local communities in order to verify that the payment was remitted in the amount approved within the intergovernmental agreement or the IGA contract and was also supported by vendor invoices. And based on a review of the eight reimbursements, we noted that two did not have adequate invoice support for the entire payment amount. And then three of the eight did not contain a payment authorization form to evidence uh, DPS management approval to process the reimbursement payment. And then finally, all eight of the reimbursements did not have evidence that a supervisory review was performed over the reimbursement documentation and payment entries. Can I, can I uh, stop you there for a quick second? Um, can somebody from Parks um, answer a question like, uh, I know it's control efficiencies, which is lower risk, but have you started to implement procedures to improve uh, the review process over reimbursements? Yes. Yes, we have um, through Great this answer. process again. So yes, we have. We've already implemented those controls. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank Please you. proceed. Go okay. ahead, Jim. Um, <clears throat> so just uh, as a, uh, a couple matters of consequence, not establishing the procedures for review, approval, and payment of the reimbursements could result in noncompliance to the terms of not only the IGA contract, 
but also the ordinance. And then without adequate review of reimbursement documentation, this could result in the remittance of payments to communities for unapproved expenditures. So under recommendation number one, this is a three-part recommendation. Um, in order to mitigate ris risks related to the reimbursement process for the park projects, we're recommending that the Parks Division Management establish written procedures or policies and procedures over the community reimbursements to A, ensure that timely communications are held with the communities in order to obtain reimbursement re uh, requests as mandated in the IGA. B, ensure that the authorization, recording, payment, and review functions <clears throat> are segregated and performed by separate staff persons for each reimbursement request. And then finally, C, ensure subsequent detailed review of reimbursement documentation is performed and also document, documented to validate that build invoices are complete and accurate prior to payment processing. And <clears throat> as indicated, management agreed with all of the recommendations. So at this time, I'll turn it over to Erica Jones, who will go over the uh, remaining um, issues and recommendations. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, Good morning. Under objective one, we also noted an issue in regards to the monitoring over forfeited parks funds. Um, that is discussed on page nine through 12 of the audit report. We performed a review to determine if the Wayne County the Parks Division developed adequate controls to timely identify and track parks millage fund for chip features during our audit scoping period. The Wayne County Parks Division provided a listing of five communities that have forfeited funds during our period of October 1st, 2017 through September 30th, 2019. The total amount of forfeited funds for the five communities was approximately $104,855. Our review of the five communities forfeited funds, we identified the following exceptions. Three of the communities failed to provide their project documentation by the requested 60 day deadline. Two of the communities failed to remit their reimbursement request to the Wayne County Parks Division prior to the two year contract expiration. And also we found that three additional communities met the forfeiture criteria, but were not included in the listing of forfeited communities. Wayne County Parks Division management stated that they did not retain the emails that were used to follow up with the communities prior to the forfeiture of funds. Also upon our inquiry and follow up communications, we determined that the Wayne County Parks Division only retained and archived emails up to six months at a time. I could add here too, if on page 10 of the report, there is a table that shows the communities that had the forfeited funds. So you'll be able to see them in the report. Can I just jump in there on a second? Somebody from Parks can, uh, like currently now, being, we found that uh, control deficiency. Uh, are the emails uh, being retained for more than six months that document the following with communities prior to forfeiting their park funds? Mr. Chair, yes, they are. They're being um, archived longer than that, and they're also being logged and tracked. Oh, thank you so very much. Thank you. Please, please proceed. Yes, um, by not retaining the follow-up communications with the communities, the ability to assess the monitoring of the follow-up process by third-party review is diminished. Also, without implementing additional procedures that document the timely tracking and monitoring of the submission of parks documentation received from the communities, management's ability to make timely decisions to forfeit funding is diminished. As part of recommendation 2019-02, we recommend for the Parks Division to enhance the control environment and mitigate risks related to the forfeiture of parks millage funds for local communities. And they should establish and modify current risk business practices and written procedures to enhance the monitoring over the submission of parks project documentation, 
reimbursement requests, and follow-up communications to local communities prior to the forfeiture of funds. They shall also ensure that personnel adequately retain all emails and documentation provided by the communities at a minimum during the IGA period for accountability and third-party review. And lastly, they should um, personnel should record the rationale when parts of funds are forfeited in accordance to the ordinance and policy. Uh, management agreed with this recommendation. Next, we also um, identify issues in regards to the validation of parts project submissions documentation. That is discussed on page 12 through 14 of the audit report. Um, we selected a sample of 10 community parks projects that were completed during fiscal year 18 and 19 and requested parks division management to provide the parks project submissions for each. From our review of 10 community parks projects, we noted that four of the communities did not include a title deed of ownership within their parks project submission as proof of ownership as required by written policy and procedure. Management confirmed that each community was required to provide a title deed of ownership in their parks project submission in order to obtain an approved IGA contract. However, personnel were trained to accept other forms of documentation, legal descriptions, tax statements, in lieu of a title deed of ownership. The Wayne kind of park, Parks Division also indicated that the personnel were trained to review each parks project submission and to notify the communities of missing documentation. However, these internal reviews and communications were not formally documented or retained for third party review. Without documented evidence of review performed of submitted parks project documentation, projects may be approved without complete information. Also without retaining or follow-up communications of local communities, Validation of the actions taken regarding missing documentation cannot be verified. Under recommendations 2019-03, we recommend for a parks division to enhance transparency over the review process and to implement the following actions. Revise and update written procedures to identify acceptable documentation to validate property ownership revise and update written procedures documenting and approving the reviews performed over parks project documentation submissions and ensure all correspondence, including follow-ups are documented and retained by, for each parks project. And management agreed with this recommendation as well. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, under our second objective, we identified on an issue in regards to parks project communications with local communities. That is discussed on page 14 through 16 of the report. We reviewed a sample of 10 community parks projects that had an IG expiration date of, of, of September 19 and September 2020 and requested for the Wayne County Parks Division to provide the annual Parks Millage Fund allocation letter and status update communications held with each community. The IGA allows the local community to complete the parks projects over a two year period. As such, the Parks Millage allocation letters were sent out in 2018. Our first condition in regards to annual Parks Millage Parks Millage Fund allocation letters, the uh, Wayne County Parks Division stated that a decision was made to remit the 2018, 20, I mean 2017-2018 Parks Millage Fund allocation letter to each community by a target deadline of January 31st, 2018. This deviated from the December 1st deadline stated within written procedures. However, we noted that eight of the 10 communities had letters that were sent during the months of February through May 8, 2018, which occurred after the January 31st deadline. 
for one of the eight, the Wayne County Parks Division stated that a miscommunication occurred within the commission. Therefore, the letters could not be sent out by January 31st, 2018. Our next condition in regards to status updates with community, the Wayne County Parks Division stated that personnel were trained to periodically contact various communities regarding status updates within six to nine months of IGA expiration. However, these discussions were not formally documented, documented and retained during our audit scoping period. Therefore, we were unable to determine if personnel performed the status updates with the local communities that were selected for our testing. A timely distribution of parks millage fund allocation letters to the communities can create a delay in parks project execution and completion without retaining documented evidence of the status updates obtained from the community the parks division reduces the transparency of the monitoring performed over parks project compliance to intergovernmental agreement terms. Under recommendation 2019-04, we recommend for uh, Wayne County Parks Division Management to enhance the monitoring and tracking of community parks communications and to ensure that their process includes the revision of written procedures to align to the current business practices that the Wayne County Parks Division Management and staff utilize when sending out the annual notification letters to, to local communities. We, we, believe, we recommend for them to establish procedures to track and document parks project communications held with commission staff, including written letters and electronic mail, related to the approval of the parks millet allocation letters that are sent to local communities. And we recommend for them to remain, retain all communications, including written letters, electronic mail, held with the communities regarding the status update on parks project prior to the termination of the IGA agreement. Management also agreed with this recommendation. So uh, just to conclude uh, for our overall conclusion um, for this engagement, overall the Parks Division um, has been very effective in meeting its goals and objectives in order to ensure that all community parks projects are approved by the Wayne County Commission through a drafted IGA and also that parks millage funds are dispersed within the guidelines um, uh, specifically the amounts that are stated within the Parks Millage Ordinance. Uh, so we determined that the Parks Division Management can strengthen controls within these following areas that we have identified within this report. And then finally, a corrective action plan will be requested approximately 30 days after this report is formally received and filed by the Wayne County Commission. And that concludes our presentation and I will leave it open for any questions or comments. Do I have any questions or comments from commissioners? No. Wow. Uh, well, I, I, uh, let me ask you this. Um, uh, this would be to uh, John maybe. Uh, are there any repeat findings uh, from last time we did an audit? Um, no, I don't believe there have been. Um, this was, uh, you know, we looked at this area of the, uh, the parks. Um, I don't recall us looking at this for many, many years. So uh, to our knowledge, there's no repeat uh, findings. Great. And then this comment is from me to Alicia Bradford and her staff, uh, how much uh, I appreciate her working with the, with the auditors. Uh, and so I mean, it's not usually, uh, uh, there's a reason I'm the skunk at the picnic, but, uh, you know, for, for to have the cooperation uh, from your department uh, is, is really appreciated personally on, on my part. So thank you so very much for working with us and moving the county forward. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Commissioner Basham. Thank you. So nothing else from commissioners? Oh, Mr. Chair, I have a question. Yes, Commissioner Dobbs. 
Thank you. Um, <clears throat> regarding the the documentation or the the records that were not retained over six months, and, I, I, and I'm just kind of generally referring to um, the emails um, and the the letters, the status updates. Um, are we talking about like original paper copies or electronic copies or both? Um, because I, I I just I'm a little confused as to why um, like we couldn't find emails in the system. Is that something that um, the parks department just had um, set up where their emails are automatically cleared out and they're not archived? I think my emails are saved forever. Um, That's and a then, long time. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> and then any um, you know like. Word documents, letters that I would create, I save, um, but I, you know, I don't keep paper copies in my office. So I'm just wondering, um, like, why those weren't weren't kept or weren't saved mm -hmm. in the system, or if the, they could be um, recovered by our our IT department. So Alicia, somebody like to comment. Through the chair, um, Commissioner Dobb, at that point in time when the testing was done, what I did for my email um, archival is that I would clean it out every periodically. So no, all of those emails weren't retrieved. We do have written copies of any communication, but ma majority of the communication as follow-up to the communities came through phone call or through email um, record for that. So at that point in time, I was only archiving up to six months. And then after that, not retaining that information. But moving forward, those um, emails are archived. Um, they are not cleared from my archival mailbox. And we keep them on a separate drive. So I'm able to retain them for the volume of communication we have with those 40-plus uh, communities. OK. All right. And then um, what about the? the letters that are sent out, um, do you send those by mail or are they just Word documents that you um, print a PDF and then you email them? So through the chair, Commissioner Dobb, that um, once I receive the notification from the commissioner, they are sent both ways. They are mailed and they are emailed directly to that community um, parks director or community liaison who is in charge of getting the documentation back to our office for their specific project. Okay. So they're done, they're done both ways. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank Mr. Chair. Okay, anything else from other commissioners? Okay, can I get a motion? Can I add something to this too? Sure. I want to kind of echo what you said. I wanted to thank the representatives from Parks Division for their full cooperation. I think this is a good example how you can show what the audit team, team working with the auditee, can you enhance the controls at the county? And I think it was a good audit. I think so too. So, um, so can I get a motion? Move approval. Okay, it's been moved by uh, Commissioner Clark Coleman. Can I get support? Support, Colleen. Support from Commissioner Clean. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Second five the same. Aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Next item, Madam Clerk. F, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. There are none. What Next comments? Um, is there anybody from the public that would like to comment? Going once. Anybody from the public that would like to comment? Has everybody been unmuted? Can we unmute Andy? Uh, anybody from the public that would like to comment? Last time. Anybody from the public that would like to comment? Uh oh. Uh, next item. Adjournment. Okay. Can I get a motion? Move Mr. adjournment. Okay. Before it's been moved and supported. No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Ayes have it. Well, thank you guys so very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mr. Chair.